Ford made history when it reimagined the factory floor 100 years back with its moving assembly line. This is what it looks like today. But now, Ford is making another foray into next-gen tech. It's going from robot to cobot. We don't think about robots necessarily as, as job reductions. We think about it as a blended solution between man and machine. Unlike the traditional industrial robots, cobots are designed to work with humans and not for humans. They're more flexible, scalable, and built to be inherently safer. The workforce is really helping us define how they can contribute more by using the collaborative robot to do some of the more mundane, simple, heavy exertion tasks, which in turn allows them to use more of their creativity and their, and their minds to take us to the next level on a continuous improvement. In a plant like this, this plant, we run 21 hours a day and we operate production six days a week. So we literally make trucks around the clock. So anything we can do at our scale to make the quality better, to make the workplace more safe, is a pretty easy decision to make. Typically, assembly lines have seen man and machine separated by safety fences. That's because the movements of these behemoth industrial bots have traditionally proven to be hazardous to humans. But this automated arm is dressed in high-tech sensors that detect when fingers are in its path, one of its key safety catches. So now, the new breed of Ford worker moves in tandem with the three-foot-high cobot. The human skill of dexterity is augmented by the precision, brute power, and stamina of the machine. In Ford's trial phase, the pair is working together to fit shock absorbers into the wheel arch of the Fiesta car model. Keep in mind, cobots aren't unique to the Ford factory floor. They're being deployed by some of the biggest names in the automotive sector. Early adopter BMW says that when robots and humans work hand in hand, they actually outperform both all human and all robot teams. Also part of the incentive is the price point. The cost of a cobot or the small robot versus a larger uh, robot like you see here today is a, is a cobot's about 20% of the cost. So the cost justification process was pretty easy to make. And the market for cobots is prime for growth. Last year, global sales came in at $116 million, but Barclays analysts expected to achieve global sales of close to $3 billion by 2020. So with nothing to stop them, the question becomes, does more bots mean less bodies on the factory floor? Not for Ford. We've actually added in the last five years, 28,000 jobs. So you've seen the level of technology and robots go up, but at the same time, you've seen the level of our employment and really, really good jobs in the community go up at really, really big numbers. But nationwide, the numbers don't look quite as promising. The U.S. has lost more than 370,000 auto manufacturing jobs since 2000. And in September, Ford announced its plan to move all of its small car production to Mexico. But even as recent headlines about plant suspensions raise questions about the longevity of some factory floors, Ford remains confident about the relationship between man and machine. Our people at the heart of what we do and our thinking around robotics is, is to use it to do the repetitive, to use it to do the hard. And the thinking is, is to allow the people to have their time to use their creative thinking, their innovative spirit to help us move the business to the next level. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.